Hi everybody, uh, it's the Christian Kid, and um, today I'm going to be doing another reading um, from a book because, and it's called Wear Your Helmet. Um, so I'm going to read, and we'll go through this, and that'll be it. So, Wear Your Helmet. A lot of mo motorcyclists today don't like helmet laws. I'm among their ranks, I must say, because it's fun to get on a motorcycle and ride along with nothing on your head. But quite honestly, if you're in an accident on your bike and you become airborne, a helmet suddenly sounds like a really good idea. Helmets have saved the lives of many mo motorcyclists. Helmets were also a life and death matter for Roman soldiers. The helmet protecting his head was made of leather shrouded in metal and was designed to withstand a crushing blow to the head. And found in Ephesians 6.17, it says, And take the helmet of salvation. As believers, we need to put on the helmet of salvation because our minds, our thoughts, and our imagination must be protected. It's here that most temptations start. Satan recognizes the value of, the, of first getting a foothold in the realm of thoughts and imaginations because this will prepare the way for those thoughts to translate into action. As the saying goes, so a thought reap an act, so an act reap a habit, so a habit reap a character, so a character reap a destiny. It starts with a thought. Are you protecting your thinking? Do you allow the thinking to be rooted? Do you allow your thinking to be rooted and fully conditioned by the fact of your deliverance from sin that Jesus Christ accomplished on the cross? While we cannot control all things we are exposed to in this world, we can control a few things. We can control what we watch on home or at home on television. We can control the movies we decide to see. We can control what we choose to read and what we, use to li and what we choose to listen to. Be careful then what you allow in your mind. Put on the helmet of salvation. It's found in First Thessalonians. Uh, chapter 5 verse 9 it says and this is the Lord's promise to his people it says God decided to save us through our Lord Jesus Christ not to pour out his anger on us um, with God in prayer take time to thank God fully as you can for the, sal for the salvation he has won for you through the blood of his son let the truth wash over your mind because, because he had saved you from sin Think ahead and review the choices you will likely need to make in the next 24 hours about the things that will significantly influence your thoughts. What decisions should you make uh, to protect your mind with the helmet of salvation? So let's think about that and uh, yeah, some really good tidbits there. Um, there's a lot of things in this world that can really kind of grab us and you know, might look and seem okay, sound okay, you know, everybody's doing it, but it's really not, and a lot of us can get ca caught into it, and it's very easy to, um, so yeah, that was today's reading, I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you come back for, uh, tomorrow's, which is, remember your sword, so I hope you enjoy that, and I hope you come back.